We gonna kill your white boy. One gang member shouted to a group of boys after a minor scuffle in the street. The white boys referring to had left before the disagreement. The gang was called the Shanks and Guns and the white boy marked for death, Nicholas Pearton. Nicholas was already home when he received a call from a friend telling him the Shanks and Guns gang were out to get him. Angry, confused, he confided in a friend. Should he avoid and run or stand his ground? A few minutes later he received another call asking for help. The Shanks and Guns gang are in the park and there's a second standoff with his friends. Nicholas jumped on his bike and rode straight to home park in Sydenham. On arriving he found the park was empty. He circled looking for his friends. He was blindsided with a bat as he exited through the gate. Nicholas who was studying carpentry fell to the floor and was set upon. He was able to get back to his feet and was chased down Sydenham Road in South London. Nicholas who was 16 was then stabbed through the heart after the gang of 10 hunted him down like animals. They shouted killed a prick and chanted SG boys as he lay bleeding to death. His mother rushed to the scene and was able to hold her son in his last moments. He was pronounced dead on arrival to hospital on the 5th of May 2010. Lamar Gordon from Bromley and Dale Green from Catford were seen on CCTV shaking hands on a bus as they fled the scene. They were jailed for life with a minimum term of 14 years after being convicted of murder. Four others were found guilty of Nick's manslaughter. They were Claude Giha, Terrell Clements, Demar Brown and Edward Contia. Judge Anthony Morris summed up, This case involved gratuitous violence in public which seriously discourages law-abiding citizens from walking the streets. You hunted that boy down like a pack of wild dogs hunting down his prey. Edward Contier, who's from Sierra Leone but has a Belgian passport, was deported after serving seven years. His mother, Menamuntu, was worried what would happen if her son was deported. When he goes, they'll give him Belgian police everything and tell them he's a criminal. And his family is all here. He doesn't have anyone in Belgium. That can make a guy go crazy. A Home Office spokesman said, Foreign nationals who abuse our hospitality by committing crimes in the UK should be in no doubt of our determination to deport them, and we have removed more than 33,000 offenders since 2010. Nick's father Vince said after the trial, Our loss and feeling of emptiness are all too consuming and inescapable. My partner and I suffer from an inexplainable feeling of guilt that is overwhelming and never goes away. It remains with us in everything we do and has greatly disturbed the way of life. As a result, we have stopped the everyday activities that made our life so special before Nick died. We can no longer go on holiday, browse through shops or even enjoy a day out with our children. Our justification is that if Nick cannot experience the things he used to save her, then we shouldn't either. Learning the facts of how Nick was brutally and needlessly taken from us has been the most difficult task my family has ever had to endure. <laughs>